meantime, an international team led by UCSF scientists have discovered how a range of existing drugs may fight the virus. KPIX 5's Maria Medina has the story. Without a human body, the virus can't thrive, replicate, or infect anyone else. Now some scientists have focused their brain power on the human body in order to fight back. We took a different tack. We went with the biology first. A global team of scientists led by UCSF formed a rapid response research team. They created the first ever blueprint of how the virus hijacks and rewires human cells. They then used that map to uncover drugs already in existence that that may help to fight the virus fueling this pandemic. We generated the map first and they identified less than 100, of diff uh, 100 different uh, drugs and compounds. The blueprint shows more than 300 human proteins that the virus requires to get into human cells. They then looked at different drugs on the market or currently in development to see if any of them interact with these proteins. In lab experiments using monkey cells, the team found antihistamines, antipsychotics, and anti-anxiety drugs block the virus from getting into the cells. The strongest antiviral effects were seen in two cancer drugs. Both are used for multiple myeloma. The blood cancer affects a type of white blood cell that normally produces antibodies. But a common ingredient in cough medicines, dextrometorphin, actually stimulated the growth of the virus while researchers are not advising people to stop using it. It would be wrong not to, to highlight it because, because it, it, you know, it, it could be detrimental. And, and so more, more work needs to be done there for sure, but something, something to look out for. They also found progesterone interferes with the virus. The sex hormone is produced in greater quantities by women and may help explain why men are more likely to get severely ill and die. No, it caught our eye too, and it's a sort of attractive, it's an attractive hypothesis needs a lot more study. Until a vaccine or herd immunity eradicates the virus, it will cause more infections and death. This team hopes their blueprint will help to lead to better treatments and give humans a better fighting chance. In San Francisco, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.